Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I thought we would have a little bit of a discussion on some book trends that I am noticing I've been reading lately and have actually really been enjoying and most of it is plot or character developments and it's just something that I've noticed that I have really enjoyed certain books that have these different aspects in them. And I'm kind of curating a little bit of a list of books that I have really read and enjoyed by them. And I would like to continue to read more books like this. And interestingly enough, this video sponsor today actually has books that I have read from them that have these aspects in them. So it kind of ties together really nicely. And that sponsor is Book of the Month. So Book of the Month is a monthly subscription book service where you can sign up and every month you will receive a list of curated books that have been vetted from hundreds of options that are coming out. And they are all new releases. Some of them are even early releases, which is really nice. You can get some books a little earlier before publication date. And you can pick some books to get in your box that month. Now, there are not only five main options, there are also add-ons that you can add on as well for a discounted price. The entire service for the for one book in your box every month is $14.99, which for a brand new release hardcover is at a discount. You're not going to be able to go to the store and get a brand new hardcover for that price. And then if you want to add on any other books in your box as well, you add on a couple of books in your box as well, and those come at a discount as well. So it's fantastic. One of the things I really like about Book of the Month is if there is a month that none of the books are really interesting to you, you can skip it. No penalties, no fees, nothing. And then you just wait for the next month of the next books to come out. And what I really like about the add-ons as well is that if, <laughs> I'm guilty of this, if you skip a book or you didn't add it to your box in the month that it was available and you kind of have regrets about it later because you're hearing amazing things, you can add it on in another box. It's gonna be there. So the past selections are always there for you if you want to grab one. It's fantastic. I've been using this service since 2020, so over a year now, and I have just absolutely loved the books that I've read from them. And I'm here to show you what January selections are, and I'm going to have a code for you as well if you want to get your first box for $9.99. It's a high recommend for me. It also makes a great gift if you're looking for a gift for somebody that you know likes to read. It's a really great option for that as well. So I will have a link in the description to the website to go ahead and get your own box or to get a box for a friend and also the discount code to get your first box for $9.99 and it's fantastic and that's on any book any book in their inventory $9.99 it's fantastic Okay, for January's options, we have The Magnolia Place by Fiona Davis. This is a historical fiction, and Fiona Davis is an author that I have heard from before. I have other books of hers on my shelves, so I'm very excited to read her. So this book is a historical fiction, and it follows two different timelines. There is one that is set about a year after the Spanish flu outbreak, and we're following a young woman who lost her mother in that, and she starts to really struggle with losing her mother and coping with those emotions. She is actually a model for statues, so her body image is used for like white stone statues, if you will, around the city, and uh, the work starts to dwindle a little bit, and so she's really having a hard time so she takes a job as a secretary for somebody who is very rich and ends up living in his mansion with him. And apparently he's a very difficult person to work for. And then we fast forward 50 years later and we have a woman who is a part of a family who has now taken over this mansion and are living there. And she is also trying to help her family out in monetary ways. And so it's going to be kind of a little bit colliding, I believe. So yeah, but I'm very excited to read Fiona Davis. The next one is Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. Now this one is an adult contemporary and it follows a woman named Dahlia and a person named London and they are both contestants on a reality cooking show and they are both hoping that this will propel their careers and create stardom for both of them and they both have very different situations and life experiences and so seeing them come together and forming this friendship may be something more and it's all happening on national television. 
The next one is Fiona and Jane by Jean Chen Ho. This one is an adult contemporary book that actually follows Fiona and Jane who are childhood friends and they remain friends throughout their entire lives. And this is actually a little bit of a collection of stories, but it follows their friendship through different time periods and it spans over two decades and it kind of shows what's happening and they are separated for a little while. So what's happening with this person and this person, how do they come back together, all that kind of good stuff. The next one is Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. Okay, this one kind of gives me and then there were none vibes. So there is a secluded island where six people who are very hoity-toity, if you will, <laughs> and they end up going to the secluded island to have kind of a vacation there, and there are a lot of rumors about this island, about weird things that have been happening, but it's kind of supposed to be an adventure as well, it's supposed to be an experience, and so these six people go, and then one of them ends up going missing, so I'm super excited for this one. The next one is Black Cake, and this is by Charmaine Wilkerson. This one follows a woman named Eleanor, and she passes away. She ends up leaving her two children a recipe for a Caribbean black cake and a voice recording. And the voice recording is telling the story of a young girl who escapes from Jamaica under the suspicion of murder, and she swims to her freedom. And she is telling this story, and I believe her children are going what is this? <laughs> so um, it starts bringing up a lot of questions, a lot of research happening, trying to figure out who this person is and what was going on and why their mother left this recipe for them with the instructions to eat it when the time is right together. So that sounds very interesting. And one of the add-ons for this month that I'm very excited about is The Maid, and this is by Anita Prose. This book follows a woman named Molly, and she is a maid in a hotel, a very luxurious hotel. And she's very socially awkward and doesn't have big social skills. And she often misinterprets people's reactions to her or things that they say to her. She misinterprets them a lot. So it makes her um, not enjoy being social <laughs> with other people. So being a hotel maid is really great for her because she does like cleanliness and orderliness. So she takes a lot of pride in her job and it's a job that she can do in isolation. So she really enjoys that. So one day she goes into a hotel room to clean it and it is being occupied by a man named Charles Black who is apparently somebody well known. And when she walks in, his room is in chaos and he is dead and the police start looking at her because she's the person who found him. And so she's trying to figure out what in the world happened to him and how to get herself out of this situation. So this sounds very interesting. And from what I'm seeing, it's kind of described as a little bit of a closed door clue theme here, which I'm very excited about. And another thing that I really like about Book of the Month is that they like to focus on debut authors. So four of these options here are first novels from these authors. And they also focus on diversity as well, which is in here. So I'm going to touch on that real quick. But The Maid is a debut novel. Fiona and Jane is a debut and it's by an Asian author. Love and Other Disasters is a debut novel. This author has also written novellas, but this is the first full length novel and they are LGBTQIA+. And Black Cake is a debut novel by a Black author. So get a cute little bookmark every single month and it always has book of the month on it. And then on the back, it has a cute little saying. This one says, put me in coach. I love that. So those are the books for January for book of the month. So make sure you use my link down below and the code and you can get your first book for $9.99 and you can pick from anything from their inventory as your first book, which is really exciting. And um, yeah, I hope you guys go and utilize the service because I absolutely love it. Which thanks to book of the month for sponsoring this video. So now I want to talk about some themes in books that I have noticed that I have really been enjoying and now I want to read more that either have these types of settings or they have these types of characters in them. And I have read book of the month books from these different ones, which is awesome. First one is that I have noticed I enjoy books that are set on reality TV shows. <laughs> I've just really enjoyed that. I find them juicy and just full of drama and I just really get lost in it and I think they're just 
a sassy good time, if you will. So ones that I have really enjoyed are the Selection series by Kara Cass. That's more of a dystopian type of thing, but it does center on a bachelor type of competition and it is televised for their country. So that one I really enjoyed. And I have also really enjoyed Rosalind Palmer Takes the Cake by Alexis Hall, which I just recently read. And that is a reality baking show. And one that I read from Book of the Month is One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. I recently read this and really, really loved it. I completely got lost in the drama and just I had physical reactions to it as I was reading it. I just really enjoyed that one. And now I have another one. Another one I realized I like is if there is a serial killer that is part of the family. So you're following someone in the family, but then they have a serial killer as a relative in some way, shape, or form. And two books that really stood out to me that have this in there are Still House Lake by Rachel Kane. And this is actually a series, but I've only read the first one, but I loved it. So I, I really want to get back to reading that series. And that one follows a woman who finds out that her husband was a serial killer and a really bad one. And then a selection from Book of the Month that I just recently read was A Flicker in the Dark. And this is by Stacey Willingham. And oh man, <laughs> I love this one as well. And this one follows a girl who finds out that her father was a serial killer. And just, I don't know, that just really struck with me and made me just go, oh my gosh, can you imagine finding out like someone who's basically living a double life and kills people? I can't one that focuses on characters is I really have enjoyed reading about autistic characters and I have a handful of books that I have read that feature autistic characters in them and I've just really enjoyed them. It really strikes a chord with me and I haven't read any from Book of the Month personally but I, I know that there are um, a couple of books that are available so I'll talk about those as well even though I haven't read them but I know that they're there. I recently read The Girl He Used to Know by Tracy Garvis Grace which follows a main character who is autistic and I absolutely loved that book and that is a dual timeline um, like a second chance romance so these two people meet in college and they start dating and they have a relationship they break up and then they meet again like 10, 11 years later and they have a second chance at their romance. But the main female character is autistic. I also really loved House Rules by Jodi Picoult and that follows a young boy who is autistic and his therapist, the woman who works closely with him and helps him deal with his autism is found dead and he is the main suspect. And it goes through like all the dramas and the courts and his family and all that kind of stuff. And for Book of the Month, they do have two books, 100% that I know of, that are available that feature autistic characters, and that is The Reckless Oath We Made. That is by Bryn Greenwood, and they also have Miracle Creek by Angie Kim, and that one is more one of... It's not a main character, I don't believe, but it's like a courtroom drama. Um, but I believe the son of the mother who was on trial was autistic. And then another trope that I really, really enjoy is when the main characters in a book are authors and you see them in their writing process and um, going through all like all the struggles that authors have. And the big one that really has been my favorite is Betrayed by Emily Henry. And that follows two authors who are rivals almost, if you will. And they are both kind of in writing slumps and then they decide to team up and to challenge each other to write in each other's genre to kind of help them get their creativity flowing. And it's kind of a enemies to lovers type thing. Um, and I loved that book so much. And this one is available at Books of the Month as well. And then I couldn't think of another one off the top of my head that featured authors in a big way. But one that's coming up that I'm very much anticipating is The Rough's Draft. And this is by... Emily Wibberly and Austin Siegman Broca. And uh, this one is coming out soon. So I'm very excited to read it. I have it on my Kindle already. And um, yeah, that one features two authors who co-wrote like a hit series of books. And they end up having a huge falling out to the point where they're not speaking anymore. And they have one more book on their contract. So they have to come together and they have to write another book. And so it kind of forces them back in proximity and to kind of work out all their differences. Okay, guys, those are some trends that I have noticed I've really been gravitating towards and just really finding myself enjoying. Please leave me some suggestions down below for any of these types of things. So anything set on 
a reality show, um, autistic characters, families that have a serial killer in them, and books that feature authors as main characters. Those are kind of things I'm going to start keeping my eye out a little bit more for, and I'm excited about it. So let me know your suggestions down below if you've read anything like that that you can suggest to me to read. I would love to know. And again, if you guys want to sign up for book of the month, all the information is down below. Please make sure you use the links and the code. And I hope you guys do. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.